do is kind of tie everything together um, because each human body system can't function without the other. Um, so that, that will be a theme throughout. And then um, also my objectives are similar in that I want each student to understand how the system itself works, the parts of the system, and then uh, how, it, how it relates to everything else. Um, so for the skeletal system, I decided that I'd focus on teaching the students first the structure of the bones and then um, different types of bones. But now they have an online one, um, and by this grade they've probably already dissected one. So I'm going to have the students dissect an online I'll call it, and um, compare the bones <laughs> of the, the, the mouse that they'll find in the I'll call it with that of a human bone. Um, and, um, and so this is the like work, the worksheet, whatever it looks like. So I'll have them color in the similar similarities that they find. And um, I, like looking through everything, like, there's a lot of similarities. And so I want students to be able to see, wow, like we're a lot like other animals, um, <laughs> other beings. Um, so 
this is my favorite focusing activity for a lesson. Um, have, like, has anybody ever done like that paper bag, guess what's in the bag, without saying what it is? Yeah, okay. Um, so I'll have like an orange in there, and I'll be like, describe it with all your senses, oh, without telling us the name of it. So bumpy, looks orange, or smells, or not, <laughs> <laughs> discolored from sight and um, smells like citrus. So um, how do you do that? Introducing them to the senses and by the way, that's part of our nervous system. Anyway, so I'll talk about the central and peripheral nervous system. Um, central being our brain and our spinal cord and then peripheral being like anything else. Um, and then I'm going to have them create a model of a neuron and um, so this is what looks like, and I'll give each student this, I'll put them into groups, give them um, Play-Doh, bendy wires, like pipe cleaners, yeah, and beads, and string, and just let them go. Um, I found online there's three different models you can make with a neuron with those objects, but my thing is I want students to be creative with it, and then I'll also activity. 